Hi, everybody. This is Babs, and welcome back to White Knowledge is Power, Understanding Racism in America and Why White People Should Know Black History. Today, I'm going to talk about something that's personally very impactful and important to me, and that is due to the fact that if this case had not been tried and the laws had changed because of the outcome of this case, my marriage would be illegal. Yep. I am married to a Black man, and it was only 56 years ago that my marriage would have been illegal in most United States. Illegal to be married to the man that I love. Just, it blows my mind that it wasn't that long ago. So what I'm talking about today is the Loving v. Virginia case of 1967. Who were the Lovings? Richard and Mildred Loving were a couple, a white man and a black woman, um, who fell in love. They knew each other growing up. They fell in love, got married, and they actually had to get married in a different state. They had to get married in Washington, D.C., even though they lived in Virginia, because their marriage in Virginia was illegal. Five weeks after they were married, they were woken up at two o'clock in the morning by the sheriff, arrested, and thrown into jail because they were married to each other as a white man and a black woman. So, at this time, their marriage was a felony. I don't know if you know this, but this is the definition of felony. Felony, a crime typically one involving violence, regarded as more serious than a misdemeanor, and usually punishable by imprisonment for more than one year or by death. It was a felony at the time. So they were arrested, and then they were tried, and um, they pled guilty because they were in love and they got married. So they pled guilty. They were sentenced to a year in prison. But then they had their sentence vacated with the agreement that they would leave Virginia and they weren't allowed to come back together for 25 years. They tried to get their sentence vacated. They had to go through two appeals before it went to the Supreme Court and it was upheld as illegal all the way up until it reached the Supreme Court. Thankfully, the Supreme Court in 1967 decided that it was not a correct sentencing and they made it legal that you could marry interracially. So June 12th is called Loving Day. And that's a very important day for me as a woman in an interracial relationship. Um, and it's a day that I love to celebrate every year. And I thought being close to Valentine's Day, it'd be nice to talk about this because Without this very brave couple, Richard and Mildred Loving, my life would be very different and possibly illegal. I could be in jail because I love a black man and he loves me. <laughs> um, it's interesting to note that the last state to remove this anti-interracial marriage statute from their constitution officially was Alabama, and that happened in the year 2000. Only 23 years ago, they officially had it removed. And what's even more shocking to me is that it wasn't until December of last year, so just like two months ago, that President Biden signed the Respect for Marriage Act. It's across all states now that if you get married legally, whether you're gay or in an interracial relationship, you are legally married, no matter where you go. <sighs> it's really crazy to me that it took until 2022 to have that law signed in so that it's equal across all states. Even though it was passed down from the Loving v. Virginia case, from a federal standpoint, it took... 2022 to have that be the case federally as well and basically not allowing states to discriminate against people who want to get married um i remember when they were talking about it in the news i i had fear that 
because of the state of the country that it would be repealed that it was legal to be married interracially. I'm so very grateful for Richard and Mildred Loving. They had three beautiful children and um, they were able to live their lives together until they passed. I really admire, respect, and I'm grateful for their bravery and for showing that love can win. Because I believe that. And I'm so grateful that I have my husband. I'm so grateful that we can be together. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned a little something. Definitely learned a little more about me personally. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Let's educate. And uh, let's end racism together. <laughs>